What's up guys, my name is Logan. Uh, today I'm gonna do a little project. I have a 10 foot Pelican Bass Raider, uh, small two man pontoon fishing boat here. Uh, I've been kind of doing some mods to it lately. Uh, anyone who's fished with these probably knows that slightest little bit of wind, you are drifting all over the lake. So I am going to make an anchor today uh, just a few little tools you can get on Amazon and Walmart that I got here. Uh, so I just want to kind of document it. I tried to find some videos online about people putting an anchor on these. Didn't have much luck. Uh, it was mostly just kayak videos. So my version is uh, pretty similar to what a lot of people do with kayaks with the clothesline, retractable clothesline. So I'm going to try this. I have a few ideas. I want to try to stay away from drilling holes in the boat. Um, I already have a few and I kind of immediately regretted them. So goal today is no holes in the boat, uh, good functionality. One of the main things I want to be able to do with the anchor is quickly tie it and untie it. So kind of tried to devise something to be able to do that. And I think what I devised is going to work pretty well. Uh, it's not too expensive. So like I said, just a few parts, we'll go over that and Hopefully this will help somebody else out because uh, I just kind of came up with this on my own. So, got this on Amazon, tracked the clothesline. Uh, you've probably seen these if you looked at any other videos on these. This was like 18 bucks or something. Uh, I'll put links in the description. I got a 10 pound mushroom anchor. This came from Amazon as well. I want to say this was less than $20 too. If I remember right, link will be in the description for this too. Um, you can get these at Walmart too. In fact, I think Walmart sells one in black. So if you prefer that, you may want to go that route. But I just went with the silver one. You're not going to be seeing it anyway. Everything I read online said uh, 10 pounds would be plenty, so we're going to go with that. I also got just a few other things here. A dowel rod, and I apologize, I don't remember what, uh, 7 8 seven eighths inch diameter. I was just the biggest one they had. Any other ones seemed a little bit too small. This is going to be what really is supporting the the pressure that the anchor's putting on the boat, so I wanted this to have some rigidity to it. Obviously some paracord. If you have seen any of the videos, people doing this similar setup on a kayak, uh, you know we're gonna use some paracord. So I went with one that was kind of like camouflage. I thought it would look cool, but whatever the you want. And then some post clamps, and I will show you why I'll do these in a minute. My plan, after I thought about it a little bit, uh, just thinking that a cleat would probably be the best option. So this handle comes on the boat already. Uh, it's pretty rigid. So what I think I'm going to do is take the dowel rod. Let me get you a little bit more straight on here so you can kind of see what I'm thinking. Take the dowel rod and cut it to where it is just a bit longer than the handle. And with these hose clamps, hose clamp the dowel rod onto the handle and use this as a makeshift cleat. This one dowel rod should have more than enough length for me to turn the other side into a cleat as well. So I'll have the ability to anchor on either side, if depending on where I'm fishing or what I'm doing. So that is the plan. I'm gonna turn this into a makeshift cleat. I'm just gonna cut this down and have a little circular saw. Uh, tie the paracord onto this, tie the paracord to the anchor, hose clamp that down. This only can't, I think the only one that's really going to fit is going to be this middle one. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is one cleat on each side, one clamp on each side. I think it will be plenty. Uh, maybe some zip ties just for a little bit of added strength, but I mean, we can try it out. If it doesn't work, we're not out that much. So I'm going to unwind all this and we're gonna cut it off we'll do that now Really, the majority of the stress will be on the paracord anyway, not the last little bit of this. 
For my knot, I just did a little square knot with another overhand knot on top. It's probably not perfect, but like I said, I don't think much of the strain is going to be on this knot as much as it is on the paracord wrapping around itself. So I have all my paracord straightened out here. I'm just going to feed this back in here and hope it works. tied on. Just used an uh, anchor hitch there so that should work pretty good. And now Two pieces cut. I decided to do nine inches. I my safety glasses on while I was using the saw. This was about five inches long. I was thinking about two inches of dowel on either side of the handle. So I made it nine inches long. So that's about what it's going to look like. And the plan is wrap the rope around that. It's like a makeshift cleat. Should easily support the weight. All right, so just using some stain I had laying around from a previous project that uh, we did. I just stained them up. I thought maybe it'd just make them look a little bit better. Not Definitely not necessary. Now I'm just going to connect them here, and that's pretty much it. All right, so it's not pretty, but if you can't tell, the goal of my boat is not to be pretty. It is to be functional and affordable. I think that is more than sturdy enough to support the weight of the anchor and the boat tugging on it. And now I'm just gonna repeat it on the other side.
All right, this other side is done. It's pretty similar. I know this isn't very pretty, but this hose clamp is way too big. And I did not feel like buying two packages of those for $5 a piece. So we're just gonna make that do. I can always fix it later, but uh, again, I think there's more than enough rigidity there for that to do what I need it to do. Okay, so I just wanted to give a kind of explanation of, of how I think this is gonna work. Pretend that's the bottom of the lake for just a second. I'm up in my chair, fishing up there. Just kind of lean over the side of the boat, which this thing is plenty stable enough to do that. Wrap it around just a couple times. I think that's gonna be just fine. That should give it plenty of rigidity. It's not going anywhere. It's real quick to get undone. Just a couple seconds if I need to get out. And boom. So that's kind of how I think it's gonna work. We'll give it a shot on a small lake where I'm not worried about weight from a big guy or anything. And uh, don't wanna get myself into any trouble, that's for sure. All right, so there's my quick tutorial on a no drilling anchor mount setup for a Pelican Bass Raider 10E. I hope that maybe in the future this gives somebody some inspiration on how to do it. If anyone has any tips on how to make this better, because I know this is not perfect, I'd uh, love to hear them in the comments. I'm really new to boating. This is really my first one ever. I had a kayak and stuff, but this is a little bit different. Uh, so just kind of learning as I go, improvising a bunch of things, but it sure does make for a fun project. Uh, think about making some more videos on the boat. If you guys are interested, give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe, put it in the comments. I can make some more videos on my mods and stuff. Continue as I keep building it in the trailer. Uh, maybe even make some fishing videos. So if you guys are interested in it, let me know. Peace.